Jason. Hello guys! Today, we are going to talk about proportion. Let's go! What is proportion? Proportion is an equation when two ratios are equal to each other. The parts of a proportion are the means and the extremes. The means are those in the second and third number and the first and the last number are the extremes. There are three types of proportion. The first one is direct proportion. This proportion is an increase or decrease in the first ratio produces the same rate of decrease or increase on the other ratio. For example, a car is able to travel 240 kilometers in 3 hours. How far can it travel in 5 hours? Here is the solution. 240 kilometers is to 3 hours. That is this ratio equals x kilometers that's what we are solving for is to 5 hours how do you solve this you solve it by cross multiplication or by multiplying the extremes and the means by multiplying it we have 240 kilometers times 5 hours equals 3 times x this becomes 240 times 5 equals 3x. So we cancel 3 and 240. We get 80 times 5 equals x. So x is 400 kilometers. The second one is partitive proportion. A whole is divided into parts that is proportional to the given ratio. An example of a problem is Beverly and Brenda divide 600 pesos in the ratio 2 is to 3. How much will each one receive? How do you solve this? So, we have, this is, uh, I'm just gonna zoom in. This is the amount that Beverly will get. And this is the amount of, of what Brenda will get. So, we have 2x plus 3x. x is just a variable. Equals 600 pesos. So we add these together. So we have 5x equals 600. And then we divide 5 by both sides to cancel the 5. And then we have x equals 120. But we are still not done yet because uh, Beverly gets two shares of x and Brenda will get 3x 3x meaning three shares of those 120 so Beverly will get 240 pesos while Brenda will get 360 pesos number three is inverse proportion it is a change in one produces a change in the other in an opposite direction this just means that when the when a ratio increases, the other ratio decreases, and vice versa. An example will be, if 12 men can do a piece of work in 5 days, in how many days will 20 men complete the same work? Inverse proportion problems are mainly uh, men and work. So, this is our solution. Unlike in the direct proportion, we multiplied the means. Oh, sorry. This is the means and this is the extremes. In the inverse proportion, we will um, multiply the first and the second equals to the third and the fourth. That is our solution. So, we have 12 times 5, which is 60. And 20 times x, I'm just gonna zoom so you can see. 20 times x equals 20x, and then we divide it by 20, so we get the cancel, and then we have x equals 3 days. This is the first problem for today's video. Suppose x and y are proportional x equals 13 and y equals 39. 
which of the following is not possible pair of corresponding values? Letter A is 1 and 3, letter B is 1,257 and 3,771, the third one is 17 and 31, the fourth one, which is letter D, is 30 and 10. So this is just letter A, letter B, letter C, letter D. Beverly and Brenda decided to split up 1,560 grams of chocolate in 3 to 7 ratio. How much do each person get? The third problem is, if 10 men can do 3 pieces of work in 5 days, in how many days 30 men can do? Just leave your comments down below. And there you have it. That is what proportions are. Just leave a like, share, and subscribe for more educational videos and song covers.